Today we're doing some tune-ups. Set my customer's house, bigger house, about 72, 7,500 square foot house. We got a furnace here. I got one over there. I got one there. We got two in another room. I got one air handler in the attic. But today we're using the smart probes, Testo smart probes. I'm using a Testo 510i. I'm using two Testo 605s. Temperature, humidity. Okay. Now, what I'm doing is I'm finding out my BTUs per hour. Okay. So I got a four ton unit out there. I got some high static pressure right now per blower chart. Find my blower chart. Yeah, there we are. Left side. Left side. Right side and right side. Static. See, they got two different blower charts. One for left side there. And this one, bottom airflow. Oh, they got a right side? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong airflow. No, they're not. Let's see. Left side data. Bottom airflow. Lower. Let's see how close the charts are. So right now I'm working with a hundred sixteen right there. And I'm on high speed. Oh wait, yeah, there it is. I'm on high speed at a 0.9 static pressure. 1375. Okay. So I gotta have let's well technically 1400 CFM per four ton. So I'm pretty darn close. Um, let's see. Let's see what the other one. So if I go left side on 16 on high, 0.9, it's 13.90. So I'm like right in the ballpark there. So what you do is you come in if you want to find out BTUs per hour, come into heating and cooling power, hit that, and then what you do is you come here and you configure me measurement. Uh, oops, wrong one. So we're going to configure the measurement right here. Then I put in my CFM. Okay, I got a static pressure of 9. Uh, per my blower chart, 9 equals 1375. Okay, and then I input it right here. So I got a return temperature, or return temperature, return humidity, supplier humidity, the air conditioning's on, so my humidity's a little higher. Supplier air temperature. So I'm a little over 20, what a, yeah, 57, 67. I'm at like 24 degrees of uh, temp drop. But here's my BTUs. I got 48,000 BTU unit. So actually, I'm going to play with it a little. I'm going to see if I knock the blower speed down, what's going to change. Okay. So let's try that. Let's knock the blower speed down. Okay, that didn't help my static pressure too much, and I, eh, yeah, I'm at 0.86, so, and the AC just started back up, so it's going to take a few minutes to kind of even out here. Let's go to my blower chart, so I get a point, just, we'll go off 0.8, so I'm on medium high at a 0.8. So it's saying 13.4. 
it's this medium high 0 0.8 1253 so I'll go with 1300 I'm running about 1300 let's do the in between so I'm gonna configure measurement 13 zero, zero, done okay and let's watch our BTUs find out where I'm better off being on high speed or medium high let me let this thing um, stabilize and I'll go from there. We got 41,960. On high speed, I had 42,859. So I'm better on high speed. So I'm going to change it to high speed and then I'll go outside and check my charge. Got another unit, brand new unit we installed. This is going to be the first year on the air conditioner. We didn't set this up, but this is a Carrier 59 TP6, two stage, two stage 95% variable speed blower. Okay. Look at that. 94194. Okay, this is. This is an 8016. So uh, let's see, 0.9 8016. Oh, this is, let's see, the default is 1315. It's running at 0.9. But we got a three ton unit. So I need 350 CFM per ton, 700. I need 1050 CFM. So I gotta knock this way down. So we gotta get the static pressure way down. 1050, 1050, 1050. Between 1050 and 1200, I gotta be. So, let me play around with my dip switches. I got a dip switch settings here I gotta play around with to get my. <clears throat> and as the fan speed goes down, my static pressure is gonna go down too. So, right now, I'm running 0.94. So, what was that? That was 0.9. So, let's input. 1315 into cooling power so I'll go to cooling power and I'll hit configure I'll hit 13 uh, 13 what is it 1315 done okay so I got a three ton system running that so let me play with the dip switches and see if I can get that uh, uh, static pressure down I don't want to be running that that fast so let me do that really quick and see what we come up with okay now I got it down to 0.6 so what I did is I turned I'm on this line right here on off on at a point six. I'm like eleven forty. So I'm in between ten fifty and twelve hundred. So um, yeah, I'm doing doing better than I was before. Okay, so what did I say was that? On, on, off, on. 0. 0.6, 1140. So let's go here. Go to cooling power. And I'm going to 
change my configuration. I'm going to go 1140. Done. Um, short on the BTUs. We've got to check the charge though. But this gives you some kind of basic idea, okay, to, you know, do cooling power on this Testo setup, these Testo smart probes. You got to have these uh, 605i's, at least, you know, two of them. Then you got to have the 510 to get the static pressure. And then you either got to have, you know, some way to get CFM, so you can input your CFM, which I'm going off a blower chart. If you don't have a blower chart, basically, you know, uh, an anometer works great. So, just kind of overview on this Tesla Smart Probe setup. I'm learning as I go too, and it's it's a learning curve for this thing. Uh, it's no I manifold, but uh, it's definitely worth the money. You know, it's. By the time I'm all said and done with all the probes, I'll probably have, you know, six, seven hundred dollars into it, you know, with every probe they have. Well, times two, because I got two six oh five I's, I got I think two nine oh fives coming. Uh manometer, smart probes, you know, refrigeration set. So it's not a bad deal for what it is. <clears throat> you know, it's no you know, like you said, it's no I manifold, but it'll at least get you something. Alright guys, like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.